Okay. <laughs> Recently, I got some uh, copyright claims uh, from uh, YouTube. You see that? <laughs> I got a lot of uh, copyright copyright claims. So that is just uh, for one song, one song that I use on um, on YouTube, but I didn't um, didn't notice that uh, that is a copyrighted um, song. So they say it, uh, you can use it for free. But by the way, after after two years, uh, they make some uh, claims uh, on my song so uh, what to do what should you do if you got a uh, copyright claims uh, from uh, YouTube for your for one of your video or for many of your video uh, it is not as serious as uh, people think so copyright uh, copyright claims is uh, different with uh, copyright strike so if you got uh, three copyright strike here on YouTube you will, your channel will be deleted uh, but if you got uh, many many copyright claims uh, then you know, your channel is uh, is okay uh, by the way you need to do something to uh, remove the copyright claims um, so this is uh, what I I normally do uh, okay so let's go to my YouTube studio I will show you uh, some other people use my uh, my uh, video for their channel by the way I, I didn't do anything with them uh, but I can also send them a copyright claims or maybe a copyright strike if I want by the way I will not do that uh, and uh, here is my YouTube studio uh, to see who's uh, who is using your video you can uh, click here and go to your studio a uh, YouTube studio okay and wait a second and then uh, go down here to the copyright so you will see uh, here matches uh, so YouTube will tell you uh, other people who use uh, your video uh, maybe one percent or one percent of your video uh, like this one uh, trigger cadence speed and uh, this is um, another channel of my, me so my Jackie News is my uh, my other channel uh, we post about uh, discount coupons so they uh, YouTube on also noticed me so there's some option here I can do uh, with the one who used my channel I uh, use my video for example move to archive archive this one so we can uh, check out it later and the other is uh, to request a video removal so uh, when we request a video removal we have two options uh, one is ask them to remove the video within uh, seven days uh, and the other option is uh, remove the video immediately uh, that means a copyright strike so we give them uh, three uh, takedown notice then their channel will be disappear okay of course we have to do something uh, we have to uh, prove that uh, our video is true and our claims is true to YouTube and the other is uh, contact the channel so this one uh, is a copyright claims okay and we can uh, send here uh, click here for example we can say hey you are using my video and it is a claims a copyright claims uh, not a copyright strike so don't panic just uh, delete your video or ask them to do something uh, so we can verify our email and then we can send uh, so we will or the the one who use your video will receive a claim like this a copyright owner using content ID has claimed uh, some of your material and it is a third party claim by and we can uh, learn more or we can contact them and uh, we can uh, chat with them or something okay so that is a, a, a normal option uh, that is how the copyright claims is created and now uh, with the copyright strike you can uh, click here to request a takedown notice from YouTube and then you guys have to fill in some information here and your name your channel and your email and something and here you can click here standard request request removal so this one will give them one copyright strike if you give them three then ch uh, their channel will be suspended Serious. 
terrible. No, so I will not do anything with this one. Uh, okay, uh, so we close it. And uh, now again, uh, go to your video. Uh, what if you use their video and you got copyright copyright strike? Uh, where can you fi uh, find that? So uh, we click here to the content, and then uh, we click on this filter, and we have the option here copyright claims. So we click on copyright claims. Okay, so the, this is the video that I got, I got uh, copyright claims uh, from YouTube. So yeah, actually, I delete uh, all others uh, because you see that I received many, many uh, in recent week uh, just for one song. Okay, uh, and the, the other way you can know on the, about your copyrighted uh, video is to go to your, your dashboard. And here you have uh, see the important uh, notification here. Uh, video received a copyright claims. Uh, so we can view the option uh, view the option so you see here all the video here uh, I got eight video that uh, has the same song so it uh, got uh, copyright claim uh, and the last one I haven't deleted uh, it yet so you see in the content area and here uh, add a copyright claim filter okay and now we go back to uh, here important notifi notification so for this uh, video we can ha have more option here so we can view the option so what should we do uh, it will be here so this is the video and the information about the video so uh, it seems that here is the, the length of the, the music that I use uh, this is the music that I, I use for this video so it completely 100% copyrighted music so we have the option here uh, select uh, the, the uh, option and we can replace the song or we can mute the, the song and we can dispute but actually this is their their song so I will not dispute uh, but I can mute the uh, mute the, 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 the music of the uh, video uh, so that is one option and you can also replace the song uh, with a uh, YouTube um, YouTube free music so there are many many song here you can choose uh, for example I can choose uh, uh, this one awful okay so i'm going to add it to my video and then it's okay and now i'm going to save it and save okay so uh, youtube will uh, will process the what i have just did and uh, it will replace the the song for me it is very easy if you uh, your video has only music and you can just uh, replace the song with um, free music from uh, youtube library and that is the option but uh, if sometimes you have voiceover in your video and uh, also music so your music uh, got the claim and uh, you have the voiceover so uh, what i do i just uh, delete the video so we go to the content and then we uh, find the, uh, the one that we have here and we check this box and then we uh, uh, click uh, more option and we click on delete forever. Okay, so uh, just to be clear, why should you uh, take action right after you receive the claims um, from the owner? Uh, in my opinion, it is very important to replace the song or to delete your video because otherwise the owner can send you a copyright strike and if you got three copyright strike, it, your channel will disappear. So it's very, very dangerous for you. So that's why I always uh, take action. Whenever I got a copyright claims from, from the owner, I can delete the video or replace the song. So just to clean up my channel, uh, that will keep my channel safe. And who know? Because we don't know about about YouTube and about and, and maybe some days I got a copyright strike and my channel will disappear. So. Uh, that is for today's uh, videos. I hope the information is useful for you. If you just uh, got some claims and you are serious uh, and you are nervous about that, and uh, don't worry, just uh, uh, stay calm and uh, delete your video or replace the song, and that's uh, you will be safe. Okay. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.